Yo! Hello! Ooh. Doc, is that you? Wait, what? Is this how this is gonna <laughs> go? I'm gonna talk to a giant godly statue of Scarness? Yeah, this is me, Doc. You wanted to meet up? <laughs> Come on, man. Why, why, is it, why here? Hey, don't go through my ear. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> You're oh, breaking wait. my brain matter. Oh, that was the way in. Didn't know. I'm sorry. Yeah, no griefing intended. <laughs> so how are you uh, doing, bro? All good. Dude, I'm you? doing good. Yeah. yeah. It's good to hear from you. Mm -hmm. You got my message there? Right, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Mm. That's why I thought you wanted to meet and uh, talk a little bit. And we yeah. haven't talked for quite some time. Exactly. You've been busy, like uh, building oh, all these crazy God. things all over the server. So, you know, why not meet with my good old friend Scar and, you know, just catch up a bit, talk about things like, I don't know. Mm -hmm space or traveling or you know or space space you say oh that's yeah, way space. to my heart oh yeah i know i know the space, space. right the final frontier the final like, frontier oh, yes. here are the voyages of the starship good times yeah whatever you want to talk about space i mean tons well, of stuff are happening right now from space travel to the new star trek show coming out picard looks amazing um galaxy's edge open at disney you got the millennium falcon over there you've got in texas boca chica um, out in the uh, the desert, they've got the Starhopper, which went 20 meters off the ground. This is the test vehicle that's going to take us back to the moon and Mars. Ha! Huh, any of those things sound like you want to talk about? Because I'm open to any of them. I have a problem, man. Oh, you didn't want to talk about space. Okay, yeah, what's your problem? It is a space problem. Oh, problem solving with Scar. I like it. Okay. So listen, man. Um, I got aliens. <laughs> you have aliens too? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean by two? What? Oh, I have one. I have one alien. What? Yeah. Yeah, I've had him basically the whole season. What, what, what do you mean? Yeah, I've got one. He lives out in the jungle. All right. Oh, it's here. We're talking about that jungle. I see. Yes, this is uh, where we uh, had our rapid uh, deceleration out of the atmosphere. And here's the cage where it originated from. Oh, so does it have a name? Or is it oh, it's just my pet. You know, we can name him later. That would, that would work. Um, right. So if we want to visit, uh, grab some meat and uh, grab yourself a... Uh, hat now you have to wear the tinfoil hat because i think he can read minds but that's not for sure all right and what about the and trident that... oh you know that's a precaution he can be a little feisty sometimes okay what do you that's mean fine, doc. Feisty? everything is fine is it like oh okay okay I, I trust you there you lead the way yeah it's a little hike just a little hike through the woods here doc he is really nice but uh, just 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 stay behind me it's totally fine it's perfect Everything's going to work out. All right, man. You say you keep this thing here for almost a year now? Yeah, he's my friend. Now, the plan was that if he got away, you know, we would have to, you know, eliminate him. But I couldn't get rid of him. He's too cute. He's my friend. He's my little pet. Okay. Wait, what? He lives down there. What? In that hole? Oh, my God. Dude. Here, let me, let me throw down some food here. Here, look at this, look at this, look at him. Here he comes. Look at him. Oh my there he is. dude! He's so cute. What is this? I'm out. Are you serious? Doc, he's my pet. Come on, he's not he's not scary. Jeez. Are you crazy? Didn't you see what's down there? Didn't you see that? That thing is dangerous, man. Oh, I mean, come on, a few things have gone missing in the jungle, but nothing like terrible. Dude. We need to get over to Area 77. This thing needs to be contained. You're an absolute mad lad. <laughs> He's cute, Doc, but yeah, I think he could find a nice home somewhere else. All right, man. So, let's head over there, man. Come on, i show you the way. We need to use the secret tunnels. Ouch! Something shot me. Dude, I'm out. This is way too creepy. So, we're literally inside a composter, Doc. This, this is alien technology. Well, kind of. I mean, the real alien technology is this way. Um, as you can see, there's a giant tunnel leading down <laughs> here. 
At the moment, it's quite tedious. It's a long walk. Uh, I'm working mm -hmm. on some hyperspeed transportation systems the aliens told me about, but it'll take a Ooh. while. It's some complex stuff. But yeah, flying is a good choice in here. Oh, do you have rockets? Oh, yeah, I you do. do. Do you need some? No, I'm good. I'm just trying to oh, take okay. off here, but it's always... No, I can't take off either. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Servo, please. <laughs> comply. Yes, I'm up. I'm up. We should use the... Oh, dude, we're like Top Gun right now. Yeah, it's a good feeling Great. to fly through here. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> so the only way to get to the secret location is through this tunnel, and we want to avoid letting other hermits know where the location of Area 77 is by flying through the tunnels, correct? Yes. We, we, oh, we should okay. not walk there, you know, give them no chance to spot us if we go there. I mean, underground here, chances are pretty slim they will detect it. And then still I will hide the entrance here and stuff. But, you know, this all came about so quickly. I mean, you see, I have the tunnel bore. Is this bore. your alien? No, no. <laughs> oh. That's a tunnel bore I used to blast out this whole dealio. And then, oh, wow. you know, at the, I wanted to display the thing. So we started to do a little display thing here on stream. I mm -hmm. break through the wall here and boom, there it is. Freaking alien Whoa. spacecraft. Right there, man. Couldn't believe it. Whoa, this is awesome. You got a you got a genuine Lazar 65. This is awesome, Doc. Where did you get this? How did you even find this thing? This is unbelievable. Yeah, it's lucky. Like, it, you know, I mean, probably you've most likely found find what is it called fossils before you before you find something like that before. I mean, I've been playing for ten years, but never seen fossils in the game. Don't yeah, me really? either. I was, I didn't even think they actually implemented those yeah. into the game. So it looks like you know they came through here, boom, mm. right in the water. Right, I was out here. I heard a bang, but I didn't think much about it. I mean, creeper explosion, right, it, it, or something mm -hmm. like that. But yeah. And then next thing I know, you know, I had my villagers in there for dark systems. We're chilling, mm -hmm. all fine and dandy. Next thing I know, I have some weird green dudes in there. And now they even started to replicate. So in case there's any babies in there, don't look at them. Never okay. look them in the all eyes. All right. All right. You ready? And they're in this garage door right here? Maybe. Yes, they are. Okay. <laughs> Let's go in. Oh, man, I'm excited. Let me check if there's some babies. Okay, it looks good. There's no babies here. Oh, Doc, these things are idiots. <laughs> Wait, what? Come on, man. Oh my gosh, look at those faces, look at those eyebrows. <laughs> Come on, man, show some oh love. God. You know, you're the right guy to talk, keeping some creepy thing that looks like a clown from freaking Maniac Planet somewhere in a hole. Did you see what was hey. down in that hole? I He's adorable, Doc, and he is the nicest little fellow you've ever known, if you give him meat, that is. Come on, man. These things, my God. They look like a lime popsicle. <laughs> wow. I will not be looking at them. The Vex Magic, that's a whole other thing. These things, I'm not going to get anywhere near this. <laughs> Don't mind him, guys. Uh. You know, he doesn't know what he's saying. He will get to love you. Ladies, when you start uh. probing him, too. I love my right. alien overlords. All right, let's I'm get I'm glad out you are. I'm out. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's creepy. Okay, we need to make some kind of containment thing because those are scary. I don't want any other hermits being as terrified as I was of those. Dude, this is a cryo chamber. They're safe in there. They're slowed down okay. a bit. The cold makes them slow. You know, they're lizard-like, I feel like. If they don't hmm. get too much sunlight, they're slow. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. So anyways, interesting. that is the one thing. So I think... Not only did this thing crash here, lately, better say the other day, I discovered this thing. I think it's what another alien craft. World? Yeah, man, this is like alien <laughs> magnet here. Like, you know, they're just landing casually on a daily basis now. I don't know what the heck's going on, but check this thing out. Whoa. What yeah, is don't go in there. I have. Oh, okay, don't, okay, okay. Don't, I have no idea what it is. Might be a trap, might be a bomb. Who knows? But one thing's for sure. We need to pick it up and put it somewhere safe and look at it very closely. Yeah, this is some, this is some weird technology that needs to be stored away. Once again, we've got to keep this out of the hands of us. Yeah, I mean, you as an alien expert, right? This is a UFO, clearly. I don't know. It's almost got like, it's almost got hermit fingerprints on it, but it definitely has alien technology. Hmm. Hmm. Anyways, we got this thing here, so that needs to be taken care of. It 
we cannot just leave it standing here. If anybody of the other hermits comes by and snatches it. Also, I think there's a creature in there. I haven't really inspected that. I didn't dare to go near it. And if I see another green-headed person, I'm going to freak out. So I'm going to keep my distance. But yeah, we should contain that. Keep that out of the hands of other hermits. Good. And then over here, look, here's the perimeter, right? This is the, the safety line they told me about. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They spoke about 150 block radius around our location. I have no idea why why that number took me forever to oh. do this thing. They made me build sheep farms, you know, and then I've been running around here forever putting out this line. And this. I don't know if that is even efficient. I mean, you know, do you think some hermits will obey to that? Would you <laughs> step nope. over the line? I mean, oh, you just this is just begging for me to walk over. So I think we need to construct some kind of defenses here because if I saw this, I'm going to be like, what is on the other side of that line? Yeah, exactly. You know, that's what I was thinking. I don't know. I was trying to tell them there, but they were like, nope. I said, all right, if you say so, you're the alien overlords. You're not me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know what you're going to do. Like I tell you, man, last time I blacked out, they hit me with something. Still don't know what it is. So yeah, <laughs> plenty of stuff to do, bro. I don't know where to start even. Yo, man, oh, I'm finally back. My internet is back. Six hours of pure terror. <laughs> oh, it's working Dude, again, man. We got it. We got to figure out what to do with this UFO. Also, I've been building. I've been getting stuff done. I don't know if it's the fresh air or the aliens, but I've been inspired and I've made some progress. It's oh, amazing. Yeah. That's good, man. Yeah, we need a safe place for this thing. You know, let's dig a hole or something, you know, where we can stick it in. I don't know. I mean... Looks quite janky. I have anyways. A what you have it's a over here? Yeah, it's a hole over here on the wall. What? Over the? Here. Have you not seen this, Doc? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you kidding me now? Oh, no. You just had your back to it the whole time. <laughs> <sighs> well, I, I locked in, walked back over here. I mean, what the heck? I also died, you know, I was trying to catch a Ravager and then when I was mm -hmm. catching the Ravager, my internet started dying, my upload died and I got killed by it. And I was oh, paranoid, all my stuff was lost. And you were oh, here no. all the time because, you know... Okay, I've been over here, Doc, I've been over here building that the whole time. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, because God, it died oh, way over there. That, my stu that would mean my stuff would have been loaded and I could have lost all my gear. Oh my god, oh god, now I'm even more tripping. Uh, anyways, <laughs> this thing, yeah, it must be a UFO. I mean, it looks like a super janky. I mean, who, whatever alien that built couldn't be the most smart guy, that's for sure. It looks like a it's 19... It's very boxy. <laughs> like, it's like a 1920s combustion car. I mean, <laughs> yeah. that saucer you have over there, that's like a... That's like a modern Tesla. <laughs> right. Yeah, the one that crashed into the hole, it literally is a Ferrari, and this looks like a janky... <laughs> duct taped <laughs> i don't know but surely it's dangerous we gotta move it over into the bunker and yeah the yeah i think we can pack this up maybe use the ravager pull it across here and into the uh, the doors there yeah it ain't too far should fit in there is there something i also saw there was a creature in there i haven't really looked at it should oh no it? there's something in there i've been hearing it squawk for like hours and i haven't gone anywhere near it i've been waiting for you yeah <laughs> i think we shouldn't all right I think, okay, let's quickly have a look into the door. If something happens, you kill me quickly. You never know what what's going on, all right? Like, if I do okay. weird stuff, kill me. Yeah, I just saw what's in there. I just saw it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what? What? I can, I can find that hair color a mile away. <laughs> what is going on? I don't understand anything anymore. No, I don't understand anything either. I mostly never understand anything, but less so now. Yeah. I don't care. Let's just stash this thing away, man. Got to put yeah, it to safety. This is now like extra dangerous now that we discovered what's in there. We need to hide <laughs> yep. this thing. That is weird. Man, I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> that thing was heavy. For sure not high tech, man. It was heavy like a block of lead. You're kidding yeah, me. Yeah, that that took a long time. That took that took your Ravager and us both pushing that thing across here to get it into the bunker. Look at it, nicely tucked in there too. Nice oh, yeah. and safe. Looking good. So yeah, we, mm -hmm. we investigated the alien being in there. 
as expected. Yep, there was another one in there. And look at this guy. <laughs> another one of these mimickers or whatever you call him. You know, this, this other dude in my shack over there did that too. He put mm -hmm. on a normal villager mask and thought I would fall for it. And looks like this guy was going for our for green identity theft. <laughs> that is Green's head. I can tell that for sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we kind of get an idea. The, these these aliens are coming here. They're causing some trouble. Mm -hmm. So what what do we do about Green with this whole thing? Right? Do we tell him about this or do we keep this a secret? <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, last time I met him at the Cradles mm -hmm. uh, Summit in Stockholm, we were hanging out talking about all kinds of stuff. And we talked about aliens. And boy, oh boy, he's tripping about that stuff. He really? Is, yeah, yeah. I think this would freak <laughs> him out. I mean, you know, we're like man in black. We're taking care of all the problems. And people mm -hmm. don't even know. This is, you know, yeah. now he's not concerned. It's all good. We cannot tell him. We just keep the thing here. We don't let it out. And it's all good. You know, dude, we are the silent secret keepers of Hermitcraft, protecting the hermits silently, like a great observer from above. We yeah. don't need honor. Mm -mm. We true do it heroes. silently. And you know what we, we are need? True heroes. What? Black tuxedos and sunglasses. Oh. <laughs> oh man, you you had me at tuxedos. Oh, Icing yeah. on the cake mm -mm. was those aviators. I've got some right here. Sweet already. Sweet. All right. So this thing's protected. Yep. Green or phony green, that is, mm -hmm. is tucked away over here. So mission accomplished. Yeah. Sounds good. I mean, should be safe in here. I mean, people would clearly understand this is a military facility. I mean, there's a guard tower up there with snipers and everything. Mm -hmm. Should be good. Dude, those guys up there are trained snipers with crossbows. Nobody's coming within 100 blocks of this facility. Yeah. Looks safe to me. All right. So, yeah. I mean, first things first, I think there is no more alien craft out in the open right now. Pretty much the only thing is we still need to hide the sheep farm. And then I think we're at a point where at least on first glance this area is quite secure yet. So, yeah. yeah. The aliens are tucked away there. And then, yeah, once we get this thing covered up... And then we can start building more stuff out here, more more bunkers, more facilities to hide away stuff. Yeah, yeah. we need to make it confusing. In case somebody comes out here, you know, there needs to be a lot of distractions, um, all kinds of weird stuff. And the actual high technology needs to be good, nicely concealed. And I think, I think we will manage that. Should be good. <laughs> mm -hmm. One step ahead of every hermit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We close the vault door. So I think this UFO is taken care of now. So slowly but surely we're getting a hold of the situation. We only have one big issue right now. We have Scar's pet out there in the jungle. And my god, that was the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my Minecraft life. That thing is nuts. So we need to build a safe vault for that thing at some point and store it here. Couldn't have it roaming around on the server just like that. And yeah, the aliens also told me about another new technology, by the way. And we want to try and see if we can get that done today. So obviously, you know, those aliens uh, demand to uh, replicate and breed. And yeah, they're, they're at it, I, I would say. We have quite a bunch of them down there already. But yeah, we ran out of alien breeding devices out here. There's not many left. And yeah, we definitely need a farm to produce a bunch of them if we want to create more of these people here. Um, it seems they are safely contained there at the moment in the cryo chamber and are yeah, frequently rebreeding if possible. But at some point, yeah, we will run out of food. Maybe they did already. I haven't seen them repli replicating in a while. So they told me about a nice technology we can use um, with a Ravenger and yeah, putting him to use as a yeah, nice nano farm. All right, let's see if you can get this guy into a minecart. Well, what you want to do is do this, do that. Yes, he's held back by the trapdoors. This all makes sense. Um, oh, man, the reach. The reach of this, these things is crazy. Stop reaching. <laughs> you reach, I teach. Um, okay. So, 
Can they? All right, we need to break it out. Yeah, it's rewired. Okay, you can't get through. Yeah. Woo! All right. Man, yeah, he took some a little bit of suffocation damage, but they have a lot of health. Okay, so let's keep him there for now. And let's put a glass block there. Just to be sure. Okay, and now we got some space to set up the farm over there. That's good. Okay. Let me prepare a little bit and then we get that done. Sweet, sweet. Alright, so it's time to build this super high-tech alien technology nano farm. It's a five dispenser nano farm actually, so it's gonna be really, really fast. Um, so yeah, we start up with a setup like this, right? Um, two hoppers pointing into a chest like that and on top of this hopper is gonna be our uh, dirt block but the farm has a really fast output so we want to make sure um, we can grab that all so before we do more as you can see we have three dispensers around um, this here already um, yeah we want to have a minecart placed there properly but um, yeah we might as well just go ahead and place the final dispenser we need that is facing in like that too. All right, and then lastly, later we also need to place one up there facing down. But yeah, for now, let's get uh, some tracks on here, get a hopper minecart and try to bump it in. Ah, okay, with this dispenser on top, that doesn't really work, so we should do it afterwards. It's all a learning process here. Okay, let's bump this. Okay, so now, you know, it sits nicely on both of the hoppers. So, you know, if dirt is above it now, it will nicely feed into it. And now we need to remove this iron bar. And now we want to zero tick some dirt down. Like, the dirt needs to be uh, pushed right into the minecart. So, yeah, to do that, you just have the piston like that, right? And you take a button, and then you just put the piston directly, uh, the button directly on the piston, and you get a zero tick. And that will make sure we glitch the dirt in there nice and clean, right? It's all all nicely tucked away. So now what we want to do is hopefully not bump the minecart too much and try to get this dispenser in there facing properly. Hmm, from which direction could we do that nicely? I mean, the top one is easy. We can place it against the piston here. We cannot break this out. Can we somehow look through here? No, we need to get it facing our way. Hmm. I don't want to bump into the minecart. How can we do that best? We need to from on top probably and then looking down. Something like that. Let's see if we can sneak it in like this. Yeah, if we remove the piston, maybe. Mm, or place the top piston last, uh, top dispenser last. Yeah, that is the way to go here. Yeah, okay, makes sense. And now we we can sneak this one in like that. Okay, cool, sweet. All right, now we can remove all this dirt around it, and that gives us a good starting point here. So um, we want to park um, we want to park the ravagers, but in the crop so it continually destroys it so the ravager will probably sit against the thing like that so next up um, yeah we need to put in some minor redstone no pistons or anything needed um, just a little bit of redstone on top but yeah let me quickly take a nap and then we continue here all right so here on this half slab the ravager will sit so we have a glass wall that will kind of block him when we put him in here and then he will nicely sit on there and his butt will be sticking into these crops and instantly destroy them um, while they get bone mealed by five dispensers at the same time and that should yield good results. At least that is what the aliens have told me. So anyways, to get this thing to run further we need to uh, hook a clock up to it that will you know, power these uh, dispensers obviously and to do so observers is always a good choice right yes right 
So what we want to do is we put one on up here and then also put a solid block. This will be able to carry a lever, which we have here. So let's stick it to the face here for now. We can change the position of that later. later. So that is one part of it. And yeah, we have powered rail there. That is important. Got to be powered rail. And now we also need one that is facing uh, down again, like as so. And then we just put some track on top. And then we already have a, a fast clock that is powering this guy and this guy already. So if you put a track on here and some track on there, um, we are good. So now for one side though, we gotta be slick a bit. Let's switch it off though. Um, so obviously we wanna have um, nice ways to fill this thing because it'll go through some bone meal. So we can have one here, we can have one here, we can have one here, and we can have one here. Hoppers, you know, and then put chests on there. But for this one, um, there would be no excess if we put the, uh, um, another rail there. So we just have to have a hopper here and have to be smart a bit where we put the other stuff. So an easy way to do it is just say put a block here, right? Full block. And then, um, yeah, we put track on there. And yeah, that now updates uh, the lower one here. So now we power all five if we switched it on. All of them are firing. You can quickly test that if the one we powered up last is also doing what it's supposed to do. So this one should be firing too. So let's toss some dirt in there. Yes. Nice. All right. Yeah, some is not picked up yet because this is not hold. But other than that, we're good. I should really start working with scaffolding, don't you think? We're building all these high-tech stuff and still using dirt, dirt to pillar up. I don't know. Okay, but this is looking fairly good, I would say. Yeah. Pretty decent. Maybe we need to scoot the minecart over a little bit. We have to see. But yeah, we can probe that later. I'm assuming some of the dirt is in that right corner here yeah and as long as this is not hold this hopper will not catch okay but all the all the dispensers are firing that is good now last thing we need is we need to have uh, a water a water source somewhere you know so actually this stays hydrated that would be a pretty good advantage so we can we have the ravager here we could put it here um, but that would limit our access a little bit mm, we, because we want to look like if this is hold, you know, we will be standing here. So this is hold, so we'll be standing here and we plant our crop through that little gap. So as long as we have can look in here. So okay, yeah, let's install the water here then. Um, so we're just gonna use a stair for that, like a so that will hold the water in. Uh, from the back side there and if we have another solid block here that also looks uh, kind of nice and then we just put a sign on the face of this thing here like so and then we should be able to waterlog it and keep the water in there see yep and now this soil here should stay hydrated okay so yeah that's the whole dealio of course we can reach this and you know we can wire it uh, more comfortably later so now comes the point where we need to get the ravager um, or ravager guy in and we want to drop him in from on top and we also want to have a stopper block here let me see if we drop him in like that would he go too far and then not be in there properly that would suck big time so we really need to make sure we don't screw it up so we roll him in here and yeah, we need, I think we would need a backstop to it. So if we have a glass block here to be sure, um, we should be fine. Yeah. Well, we have a slight problem here. I need to get this guy to move and I don't know how. He has this very strong hitbox. Let's try. Ooh, 
yeah, you know, he's... Okay, we need a shield, we need to stun him, so he's quickly stunned, and then jump into the minecart. Push him off. I think that should work. Okay. Let's see. Is he moving? Yeah, we moved the minecart a little bit. <laughs> oh, we need to get him on the power tracks. Okay, but this is the way to go. We can get him moving. Soon. Oh, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Move, move. Good boy. Yes. Just a little bit more. Soon you'll get enough momentum. Okay, one more stun lock, I guess. There we go. He's off. Yes. And we got him in there perfectly. Okay, that looks very promising. We did it, guys. Okay, let's do an F3B check. Well, so Big Butt is in the wrong spot. <laughs> he needs to be one block over. It went so well, but, you know, don't punch me in the back now, Big Butt, please. Oh, stop doing this. We need to, we need to put, get pistons in here and then push blocks over and get him to drop down again so we can do something here. All right. Oh, man. This is, you know, ending these Ravagers is no fun. I cannot break this half slab out because this, um, you know, hitbox is fully in there. So what we need to do is we need to get a piston in there. Oh, stop doing that. Oh, almost. <laughs> Dang it, man. Oh, this is a ravage of pain. Come on, man. Big butt. Why you have to be like that? I know we screwed it up by putting you in the wrong spot, but still. Don't be like that, man. Oh man, okay, my, my dream is to get this piston in here. Okay, maybe stun lock and then piston it. Woo! <laughs> oh no, why is eating taking so long? This is bad. Alright, 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 it's normal. Ooh. Oh man, I had internet troubles, you know, and I was already tripping again. I thought my internet is broken again. Okay, because that's how it started last time. Don't jinx it. Alright, let's see how that goes. So, in theory... We should be able to push him over, right? With the whole dealio. Yes, it worked. Oh, thank God. Okay, cool. Can we break this out without hurting him? Yes. Okay, now we're talking. Now he's in the right spot. So if we plant a crop on there now, it should instantly break. That is what we want to see. Let me get some carrots and toss it in there. And let's see what happens. He hits us! Whoa! Stop doing that, guy. All right. Yes. Perfect. All right. I pushed the minecart back in again, just to be sure. And I filled some bone meal in all of these dispensers. Um, three stacks about in each. And now let's test this thing. All right. Yeah, we're growing. Nice. Let's do a whole stack of carrots all the way through. Okay, that was 64. Let's see what we have output wise. Yeah, it outputs fast. Some of the stuff is even still in there. Got a few, I think. How many was that? 10 additional? Yeah. There we go. This is looking fine. Okay. We at least, it will be pretty much tripled now already for sure. Nice, nice. All right, it's working. Sweet. All right, another alien technology revealed to you guys. Oh, man. Are you even ready for that? 
Well, in case you are and want to see um, the video the aliens made for us to show the original design, there is a link in the video description, of course. And yeah, I'd say we'd call it. That was a crazy episode today. Lots of stuff happened. Crazy adventures. Now we have a bunker back there with a security tower. But that beacon is a problem. It pretty much screams, hey, come here and check me out. <laughs> I need to brief Scar about those security protocols up in here a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, whoop, there's lots of F3 being going on in this episode too. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.